Okay, I did my homework. Bang. All right, let's move into this. So, guys, what we're we'll doing today is we're we'll using those properties, and we're we'll gonna be completing an algebraic problem in a two column proof format. Now, all proofs, so every single person in this class should be able to get one point right away in the proof, and I'll explain what that is yeah. in a minute. Yes, Tori? Okay. Now, we basically would call this a two column proof. Some people call it a T proof because it looks like a big T. Now, the two columns are always going to be the same no matter what proof you're doing. This side is always going to be the statement. It's where you're going to write out the steps of your proof. Okay, and then we just call them statements. On the other side, we provide our reasoning or your justification. And as you're completing the proof, what you need to ask yourself after every single step is why? Why does that work? Why is that true? If you ask yourself that question, Tyler, you're right where you need to be. So let's take a look at this. Now, the first line of every proof is always what? The given. Okay, guys, that's the one point that every single person in this room should be able to get. It's the given. Every single time, guys, it's going to be called the given. Now, what that means is that in any proof, you're given original information. And that's the first line of any proof, the given. The proof is what you're trying to get to. That's always, this proof statement is always going to be the last statement. Now the question is, what's all the junk in between? That's a little trickier. Now, ask yourself, when you're going from one step to the next, what changes, why did it change? So guys, what's happening when I go from step one down to step two? No. Go ahead, Brain. Um, I would like to say distribute. No, we have not distributed yet. What have we done? What did I actually do? I've not distributed. Substitute. Guys, what's different from line one to line two? Yeah, what are we doing with that three? I don't know. Multiply. I win. So guys, this is called the multiplication property. We're multiplying by three on both sides. Okay, now they've got parentheses, Brandon. What am I doing with this three? Now we're distributing. What changed from line three to line four? What do we do? We subtracted the x, right? So what's that reasoning? Subtraction. Subtraction. Abbreviating? No. Now, what's my next step? No, I'm not divided yet. No. I added, right, Amber? Amber, what value did I add? All right, so I, well, I got rid of the negative 21 by adding 21 to both sides. So that's the addition process. Right, and finally, my last reason. That's when we finally divide. All right, any questions on this? Oh. And let's take a look at number six. Let's see how well you guys do here. Good job. First of all, given. Patrick, what's happening on line two? Lindsay, we're about line three. Distribution. Okay, Christian, what about line four? 
subtraction. What did I subtract? Fifteen. Very good. Okay, and Christina, what's my last step? Five. All right, guys, how are we doing online? Oh, I'm great. I never would do this, okay? I'm trying to tell you guys, proofs are not that bad. That's the end of it. Yeah. Well, I've had some of them. This maximum proof is 